Hi, welcome to Best Practices Weekly, the Primary Edition. The article that we're going to look at today to pull some best practices out of challenges us to change some of the rules in our primary classrooms so that students can talk more freely to each other about mathematics. This article is called Changing the Rules to Increase Discourse, another fancy way to say children talking to each other in the classroom. It comes from the September 2013 edition of Teaching Children Mathematics. So along with our Common Core state standards come eight standards for mathematical practice um, that are K-12 mathematical practice standards. Um, so we're focusing on these in our primary classrooms too. The third one is actually one of the best practices that this article focuses in on where we are asking primary students to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. And that basically means that we want our primary friends to be able to provide reasoning for how they got to an answer to a problem, basically tell us the pathway, and then justify it through words and through writing. We want them to be able to listen to their classmates, justifications for how they got the answers to problems and what strategies they used, and then agree or disagree with their classmates. So one of the authors of this article is a second grade teacher and when she videotaped herself in her classroom she noticed that there was a surprising lack of engagement when there was discourse about mathematics. So she decided to break one of the rules and take away the traditional raise your hand to speak rule to try to allow students to freely talk amongst themselves to each other not just to her about their mathematical um, reasoning skills. So as you can imagine, it was important for her to address with the class how they should talk to each other. That they were so used to just answering her questions and talking to her, it was hard for them to make that shift to realize that they were talking to each other. And they needed a lot of reminders that they were supposed to be addressing their classmates and not the teacher. Once the classroom had established who they were speaking to and that they got into the practice of talking with each other, the teacher addressed the content of their conversations. She said that students should always be explaining your reasoning. If you want to agree, uh, disagree with someone, you need to start with specific questions or explanations based on what you heard them say. And that if you ever didn't understand what someone was saying, that you had to make sure and ask questions about that to clarify. Here are some best practices for you to take back to your classroom to help students openly have conversations about math. Like with anything, we want to provide clear expectations and set examples. We want students to address each other by name. And before they talk about their own thoughts, we want them to talk about what they heard someone else say. So that will definitely encourage active listening. As always, we want to teach them and model what it's like to take turns talking and speaking one at a time. And of course, speaking clearly and loudly so that everyone in the classroom can hear you. Here are some tips that the author gives us to break free of the raise your hand rule. She encourages us to start small, that if you are not comfortable with just taking that rule away altogether, maybe start by having students call on one another instead of you doing all the calling on each other. Maybe practice before plunging by starting with a thumbs up, I agree with that strategy, or a thumbs down, I don't agree, I don't think that that is a good argument. And she encourages us to make it a permanent change, don't give up. Students speaking to one another is powerful for making meaning about mathematics. It's pretty exciting to think that changing one classroom rule could have a profound effect on students engaging in meaningful mathematics conversation. If you try this in your classroom, come back to our Facebook page or our website and let us know how it goes. Thanks for joining us.